What's up guys? My name's Chad from Character Club. Welcome to the channel. This video is part three of my Ford Econoline series where I'm building a camper van out of an extent. It's the 15 passenger Ford Econoline. If you haven't seen parts one and two, I will have links at the end of this video to those so you can go back and watch that. If you haven't seen my first build, which was also an Econoline, but a 12 passenger, I'll have links to that one too. That came out pretty awesome. And thank you so much if you have watched it, over half a million views on that. I'm still like, my mind's a little blown. Um, anyway, today's video, we are going to be putting in the insulation, subfloor and flooring. So I will show you how and why I did things. I'm not a pro, I'm learning as I go. So if I did anything that might, you might have a better technique for doing it, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Otherwise, hopefully this is beneficial to you if you're doing a van build on your own. And that's it. Hope you enjoy this video and let's get right into the build. Okay, so today I am finishing up the subfloor installation. And to do that, I had to do a couple things. I needed to drill out holes for where the seat belts are gonna go, because we actually changed the design yesterday and the couch is actually gonna go sideways and then there will be a bed back here. So I'm gonna have two seat belts along the side and they'll be bolted through the floor and base uh, you know, down to the frame of the vehicle. The other thing that I had to do is in order to get the cables, the 12 volt and 110 to this side of the van, I decided to actually cut out a three quarter inch notch in the insulation, which fit this wire loom perfect. So I'm gonna run everything through the wire loom. This is just as an example. I don't know, I'm gonna run about three, three different 12 volt cables over and then the 110 over as well. So I'll end up having like a couple different USB ports, 110 power over here somewhere, and uh, and then the rest will be on this side going up. These are the wires for the solar. Those are gonna come down to the back. I'll obviously extend those. The LED lights are coming, they're coming to the back. So those are gonna come down here. Everything's gonna meet up all the electrical is going to meet up back here so it'll be under the bed and this is great because super protected in my opinion a better design than the last van because the last van i ran everything up over and then down for the driver's side of that build because you don't have much room underneath this headliner all right let's get to it All right, for wire, we're gonna go with 
12 gauge for the fridge and 16 gauge for the outlets. On the Ford Econo line, the battery is actually in the engine bay on the passenger side. What I'm going to do is actually run the cable underneath, and I did this, and I forgot I had done this in the last build. I'll put this in wire loom. I'll run it underneath the vehicle, and then I'm gonna pop it up back here. So before I can actually do the subfloor, now I have to put a hole into the floor uh, for this, and then I'm gonna seal that hole up. We're just gonna get this wire run, and then I'll deal with this later. All right, so I'm gonna try and get it right into this corner because I want that wire to come right up here. That's the goal. This is where that bolt was for the seat and I'm gonna aim for this corner right here. The wire can just come right along the frame over to here and, and then up. How'd I do? Let's see. All right. Perfect. That's exactly where I wanted it. Yes. Oh, that's great. Good spot. Good, 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 good. All right. Let's make that hole bigger now. Now, hole is drilled. Now I need to drill the hole in the insulation and in the plywood so that goes in the right spot. All right, let's go. So you can see, there is the hole. Got the insulation back in, subfloor in, and I made my mark here, so I'm gonna cut this out, and then I'll be able to pop that cable right up through here. Let's make that cut. Midday progress report, just finished securing the subfloor with stainless steel screws down through the floor and just put in the underlayment. So this is uh, I, the underlayment that's going under the wood floor. So we're about to put the wood floor in right now. Alright, uh, so this is what I went with. The Traffic Master Laminate Flooring, 30 year warranty, hand scraped Saratoga Hickory. It actually looks pretty cool, uh, the texture and everything. Yeah, I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. I got four packs, I don't know how much I'm gonna use. If I end up having a pack left over, I can take it back. If not, no big deal.
in part four, I'm gonna be showing how I did the door inserts. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. Uh, so that'll be part four. And you might wanna stick around because we got a couple more projects going on. I'm pretty excited about. So anyway, have a great day guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.